so you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend all a lot of time. Okay, we're going over here. And now we're going back. Where are we going? Come on, the fire is summy. My house. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're going to his house for our date. That makes sense. First, I need to save. Just in case this doesn't work out. And maybe he tries to fight me or something. Oh, wait. Is there... No. Wait. There was, um, this tunnel thing. It's right here. But it was over there. And uh, Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saving and then I'll take this. Whee! Goes all the way over there. I could have used that all along. This is my brother's pet rock. <laughs> Since it's a pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. This rock is covered in sprinkles. Anyway. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. <laughs> Aha! Interesting... Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pers peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers, all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Okay. Impressed. I in impressed. I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. The dog. Again. I love that dog. What? Catch that middling canine. Curses. <laughs> Sans, stop plaguing me my life with incidental music. I have never seen that before. Oh, it's funny. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Okay, let's go to the TV. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than that, this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. Ah, oh, come on. You touch the couch, it makes a jangling noise. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 G. Yeah. Let's see what this book is. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum ph physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book is another was another joke book. Look inside. There's another quantum physics book. <laughs> you decide to stop. Oh. I get that now. Once. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move, move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Whoa. Well, what's in here? That's my room. If you've finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people will do when they date. Not yet. I'm not done exploring the house. I'll look at that painting. Painting is saying the door is locked. I can't go in Sans' room. I think there's like a key in the game that does that. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. <laughs> Bones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to go inside. Oh, wow. There's... 
Hey, those are all the attacks. The attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like I was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. What's that? Some kind of car bed. It's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long hill highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. You don't have skin or hair, dude. Of course, that's just a dream. Of course it is. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. That's so good. I like that, dude. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bee, at the bay, at the bee. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a f human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> of course. That makes perfect sense. I'm gonna go over here. What's this? The internet. My I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower account. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. See, it's funny because Sans and Papyrus are both font names, and... Comic Sans and something Papyrus, maybe Papyrus in itself. I forget. But bad puns sounds like Sans. Uh, are you being bullied? It's a box of bones. Oh yeah, I already went there. I'm gonna go to these cool action figures. Ah yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have some? Why do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from. A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Okay, books. That book's one of my favorite. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except for my, me sometimes. Look in the closet? Sure, why not? Before I go on a, a date with this dude. Clothes are hanging up neatly inside. Okay, you're weird. So, um, if you've seen everything... Do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Sure, yeah. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we go, on our date. Um, I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't s spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> Papyrus, prepared. I snagged an official... Dating rules book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating hood. Oh, okay. C. Oh, cool. It's like, wow. Wowie. I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Sure. R really? Wowee. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wearing clothes. The band-aid hanging off of you. You're wearing clothes right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothes. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Sure. Oh, whoa. What just happened? Did I just kill him? No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. 
N no, you're dating Bao Osaka. Nah, nah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothing underneath my regular clothing, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. I love it. Sure. No. A genuine compliment. Or date and pal. Boom. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't ex escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Let's check the hat first. My hat. My hat. My hat. Nyeh. <laughs> Oh, it was there. W well, then you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Open it. Spaghetti? Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so raw. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken ca cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go f any further. Refuse? Eat it. Eat it. It sounds delicious. You take a small bite. Your face reflexes scrunches. Oh, oh gross. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ugh. Ugh. No. Whoa, that's a long blue strip, dude. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all being... Uh, human, I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean... I mean, I tried very hard to... I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feeling feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you... I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. I was just being polite, dude. Jeez. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait. That's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times.